we are back. Okay, so, uh, appreciate the patience, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what we had was a phone call I didn't expect to receive for a couple hours, so we are moving forward with trying to get a pip for our little Saris, a little boy beagle that can be a playmate, a boyfriend, eventually a mate. And if nothing else, this is a chance for, you know, more goob in the goob hole. So, you know, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down with that sickness. Yes, Grimos? What you got for me, buddy? Uh, you know, I don't know really how I feel about it yet, because admittedly, admittedly, I spent a lot of time yesterday looking up just how to look after and take care of a dog that is pregnant to include the actual process of when they give birth. And it's going to be uh, a new experience. Not one that I am especially versed in or prepared for, but we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it work. We're going to make sure she's taken care of because we want to have a nice, large, happy family to include beagles. The, the yipping horde will be a thing because, goodness, uh, litter sizes of anywhere from usually around three to eight pups, which, oh my goodness, since we'll already have the two parents, adding another eight dogs so that we've got just this massive wave of, uh, very adorable, very noisy, very energetic dogs. It's gonna be a time. Uh, no, not yet, Falkenstein. So that's why I disappeared, is because we are calling and discussing with a breeder the desire to get a boyfriend for her. She doesn't have one yet. We are very much hopeful, and it's it's going to be a thing. Unless something goes very screwy out of the blues, it's going to be a thing. And there will then be forks for the fork throw. God, it's, it's going to be noisy. But you know what? I'm down. I'm all for it. won't be keeping all of the pups, mind you, if only because we have some very close friends that have already expressed that they love the heck out of the little bean and would like to uh, have pups, you know, have one of the babies, if at all possible. So, the important thing is we're going to try and make sure that there is a healthy, happy home for all of the babies. If that means they stay with us, excellent. If it means somebody else ha takes them for a healthy, happy home, also excellent. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. Did we get it? No miss bonus, life bonus, oh yeah. Much better that time. Alright, I'm thinking we're gonna go for the naval base. Naval base, recovery of base. 
it does have boats. Boats are kind of cool. Let's go. Now, I have a truck that goes Uh-oh. I don't like Flammenwerfer. I don't want to be Flammenwerfer. There we go. I'm just gonna run you fuckers over. How you like that map? These guys on their little boats thinking they can do a drive-by shooting at me. Joke's on you now. Ah! Bonus! Ah, fuckers. How dare you? Oh god, bullet help it! Fuck it. Everybody dies. Explode! I love how they're doing, like, the Kirk combat roll to get into the fight. Ow! Dickheads. Now, what I don't know is, what is this guy's fucking accent? Uh, Von Falkenstein, Toy is the name of the character, and... Apparently, he's got, like, the ice brain is his call sign or some weird shit. I don't know. It's fucking goofy-ass Japanese arcade shit. Ow. And shot in the back. That's what I get. But yeah, the plate bonus, like, you see that, that H? If I pick that up, it doesn't actually do me any good. I need to pick up the letters to fill out brain to get the full bonus. I don't know what that bonus is. I've never actually done it before. Because if you die, you lose all of the ones that you picked up. Oh. Damn it. Oh, well. Fuck your box. Oh, hey. What? Bonus. I mean, I could try not dying, but I'm not very proficient at it. Riot shields and machetes. Ow! Suck stun gun, dickhead. Bonus! Hello, Bully Snake. It is indeed arcade time. Zai got me really hankering from some good old nostalgia. Yeah, they are reflective riot shields, which is fucking warsheets. That sick 90s to early 2000s fucking boss fight guitar riff. And a hilariously over-engineered, like, hovercraft boss. Yeah, 
Get back here. There we Oh, God. No. He got back here. Whack. Oh, uh, which, which mook do we want to be as? Eh, we'll stick with laser beams. I like laser beams. Haha, <laughs> fuck your gun pod. Oh, God, drones. Those are really big rotary barrels. Oh! That probably should have just, you know, murdered me outright. Ugh! No, no, I don't want the bad beam. That is the joke, Falkenstein. Everybody I've ever played this with has said that it sounds like he's just shouting boner. Boners! Rock with the beat. Yeah, the 90s were a weird time. Oh look, dead people. Also, lessons learned from this. Apparently, as long as you are jumping, you are immune to all kind of bullets. Fuck your fart tank, I don't want it. Yeah, the 90s were a fever dream is what they were. Ah, look, F-16s, I think. Reflect this, dickhead. <laughs> Oh, and we ran the officer over. Good, fuck that guy. That's what you get for being on the uh, side of the bad war crimes, as opposed to me on the side of the good war crimes. Ah, shit. Yeah, Officer Man had the Deagle brand Deagle all right. Not that it helped him. Your bullshit electro net does not help you. Also, those are really tiny bombs. The Deagle brand Deagle does not stop gun car. Oh, fuck me. Lag. You fuckers. There we go. Laser beat sandbags. Not sure that's how lasers actually work, but you know what? Fuck it. Okay, the deagle saved him that time. Ow. Ow. You know what? 
Let's go with spread shot, Jake. She doesn't have a stun gun. She just has a pistol that she whips out and goes kablam. Fuck you, I'm rescuing the blonde chick. And you can't stop me. <laughs> MP5, loaded with buckshot. It's not just buckshot, I mean, that's like, just combi bullets. Full bore, like, rifle cartridges. Plural. Per trigger pull. I mean, look at that. Buildings exploding. They even have an SRM carrier? Yeah, yeah they do. But joke's on them, now I am the SRM carrier. And they even home in. What I want to know is how one pistol shot she is smoking like three guys. <laughs> it's not buckshot, it's just smoothbore. Also, this vehicle that I'm about to fight kind of embodies what I was hoping to do with the Triple Rack 5 Demolisher in the Mega Mech Tournament, which is just piss lead until the problem disappears. Ah, yes, the MP5. An excellent anti-armor weapon. Oh god, drills. No, I don't want to be in Gurren as the bad guys. Fuck. Ow. Now that I think about it, I probably should have gone for the airbase, because instead of fighting this thing, what I'd be fighting is Mr. Train. Oh god, now they're doing the Squisherator. The Squish Maneuver. My greatest weakness.
Ooh, napalm grenades. Any bullets. My boobs can't repel firepower of that magnitude. Ow. Fuck. And here we go. The tank equivalent of Death Blossom. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. See you in <laughs> the seizure launcher. <laughs> yeah, if you go for the airbase, instead of fighting with the resistance, you hitch a lift on a train and start jumping from train to train and then eventually you get to the front of the train and the other front of the other train is just like made of all of the war crimes known to mankind. Just march in and smoke all these guys that are on their smoke break. Smoking kills, boys! You cannot suplex the train, unfortunately. You are not nearly good enough to be savage. That dumb fuck just cartwheeled under the tires of a car. What an idiot. Look at all of those pixelated G36s. And that guy died trying to get something from a vending machine. It's like, all I wanted was a Coke, man. Why? Oh, fuck. No more car. Collateral damage car is killed. Oh god, her thing is she maces people. Ow. So, Laser Dude, ow. Laser Dude has the stun gun. MP5 chick has the you know, pocket pistols. She just maces people. What does this guy get? Oh, a fucking machete. Go figure. He just shanks people. Uh-oh. SRM carrier bad. SRM carrier very bad. I don't want it. No tank, no like. Ah, yes, the missile launcher. Uh oh. God damn it.
I have to say, though, it looks like these missiles that I'm firing are less wimpy than the bombs the F-16s were dropping in the last level, which is kind of sad. But what's this? Sork juice? I like Sork juice. What is the machine gun this guy's got that's shooting the grenades? That's not a fucking underslung 203. Ow. Uh, call me Yoshi. The name of the game is Shock Troopers Second Squad. And yeah, it's, it's soundtrack has a lot of bangers. It's part of why I've enjoyed it for so long, is that the soundtrack slaps. Are they leaving landmines? They are the fuckheads. How dare they? Agreed, lizard. Nope, only one mech. And its super attack is Rocket Pounce. Oh, excellent ducks. Always nice when the curry actually gives you a slight bit of the, uh, you know, sinus clearing. Fisticuffs. Fuck you, I'm just gonna step on you. And now, we fight a building. A building that apparently has cruise missiles in the facade. What the fuck were those? Ow, ow, ow. Fuck it. Just all of the grenades. Screw restraint. Use grenades. Screw restraint. Use grenades. Ow. We're gonna go back to Laser Man. I like Laser Man. Oh god, they're, they called the Ghostbusters.
Welcome to bullet hell. Ow. He says, knowing full well that the boss of the next level is going to be even more bullet hell than this. Because, you know, arcade game. Ow. Oh! Ow. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. Bombs. Everything explode. Everything explode. Oh yeah, very realistic. Everybody knows lasers can't touch you if you're airborne. And this is normal difficulty. There are harder. Which kind of blows my mind a little. Ow. Fuck it. Oh, I'm out of kaboom. I'm out of kaboom. That's a bad thing. Ow. There you go. Fuck your building. Rock with the beat. This is very clearly, yeah, it's, it's a quarter muncher. It is 100% a quarter muncher. There is no getting around that. The ambition of Dio. Ah, yes, Dio. Let's go. And now comes the track that I just cannot not love for a last level. <laughs> ah, motherfucker. <laughs> like, let's go up the stairs. Bitch, think again. Potted plants are the devil. are evil. In fact, you know what? Just fuck everything in this building. It all explodes. It is kind of the Dollar General brand Mad Cat. Hey, you ever want to just stomp in a proto mech throughout a corporate office? Because that's kind of what's happening right here. Or at least it was before the proto mech exploded.
Ah, fucker. I'm trying, Doug, so I'm using as much violence as I can. Hell yeah, break it down. Oh, and then lightning. In, like, ball form. Lightning balls. Ow, fuck. Oh, hey, we get another proto mech. And none of you get to ride in yours, because fuck all of you. elevators suck. Seriously. Why can the elevators not just all be central? Why do I have to take multiple elevators to keep going up? Whoever designed this building was a dickhead. You know what's the most dangerous weapon against infantry? Feetsies. Oh, oh, you stop bullets? Stop fist, dickhead. Pouch! They're brave guys. They're very brave guys to try and rush a proto mech with riot shields and machetes. But they're not very smart. Ah, look at the Gundam Samurai armor. <laughs> and Gray Fox, Silicon's kind of right. Like, I've got a bunch of other old arcade games like this, like Twin Cobra comes to mind for the NES. Only way I've ever beaten it was by using the big fuck-off, like, arcade brick controller. The one that plugged into both slots, and using the slow-mo, which just really, all it does is pause and unpause the game really, really fast. But it gives you the ability to actually respond in a little bit better of a fashion. Also, Ermagerd, it spins. My plants were flawless. <laughs> Nobody could have accounted for batshit crazy people with lasers that don't make sense and smoothbore MP5s. Nobody! Who could possibly predict this amount of stupid?
I'll take the world with me. I think that's supposed to be the sound of him cocking his pistol, but... Yeah. I need to get this little alert pop up for uh, and noise for stream, I think. The Rax Missile Universe is Haunted. <laughs> also, those are really big pistols. Alright, because I know I'm going to die a lot. It's time to just spam ults until death and then wash, rinse, repeat. because this is going to turn into bullet hell like nothing else the game has done to me yet. Because every time one of these boxes dies, they spawn a drone that shoots goddamn ricochet lasers. Ow. And the ricochet laser drones will uh, start to really multiply and gang up, and then it just turns into, oh fuck, why are there so many ricochet lasers? And they spin while they shoot them, so they just ricochet at all kinds of her cockamamie angles. Which just makes it even easier, you know, more tooth-grindingly frustrating trying to dodge it all. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of bombs. Okay, now I've got bombs. Sir, you laugh like you have a few chromosomes too many. Are, are you a Habsburg? Is that who I'm fighting? Are the Habsburgs trying to become relevant again? Because hiring a Japanese corpo to, you know, risk ICBMing the world isn't exactly the right way to go about that. Ow. Bombs. Save me. <laughs> what is this guy? He, it's He's like a much more malicious Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. All robots. That's cool. Level there we go. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. Die, dude. Die. And your little robots. Your drones are bullshit and they need to go away. Ow. I've got 24-ish seconds to finish this. Ow. Ah, oh, excellent. <laughs> the dude's low on health, so the whole thing starts blinking red. And he dead. Yeah, Diggs, honestly, this is a game that... 
I found very few people know about because it tended to come in the same arcade cabinet as, uh, say, Metal Slug. And Metal Slug was the much more prolific series. And Gray Fox, when you're saying Hide Light, are you talking about that old shitty NES game that has, like, the awful MIDI Indiana Jones music? I have that. It's not great. All right, guys. What rank? Private, because I keep on dying. Okay, guys, big question time. Do we go for another round of this so you can see Mr. Train boss fight, or do we move on to the next game? Y'all's, uh, y'all's choice. All right, we got L Lizard saying next game. Dig saying booty. I don't know what that means. All right, next game it is. All right, well then, I'm gonna real quick put on uh, word from our sponsors while I swap things over. Bear with me. Uh, what do we have set up? Oh, excellent. Listen up, audience, because things are about to get a little bit weird. We have assembled on this end a mighty band of goobers, which is to say part of that word is capitalized and all of it has meaning. But if you want to see some shenanigans, then, oh, buddy, it's time for some Twitch economics. I don't fucking know. There's no money. There's only goob. And in the dark future, oh, you can trade goob for all kinds of things, which is why we want it. Give us your numbers and we will give you, in turn, entertainment with some kind of weird musical number. I haven't read the entirety of the sheet that's not going to stop me. Click now. Make number big. Enhance bar. Loading. This is just fine. It's going to run the whole month of April and that's all the detail I'm going to give you. Other than this, make number go up. It's worth it. End commercial! Okay. Moving back on. Uh, back to the emulator scene. Because my Super Nintendo itself needs a little bit of repair. Unfortunately, the AV cable port on the back of my, you know, physical Super Nintendo is not working. So I'm going to need to crack that thing open and futz about with it at some point. Space Megaforce, presented by Toho. That's the title it was released on uh, in America as, but its original title is Super Aleste, or however the hell you pronounce it. Also, holy crap, that's loud. Let's just turn that down. Okay, now I can actually hear myself think. But, uh, yeah. Which doesn't have Space Megaforce, but it does have the original title to swap the uh, 
game being played too, so, alright. But yeah, on the subject of games whose uh, soundtrack really stuck with me. Alright, uh, sound, stereo, controller test. Okay. Trigger settings, what are we doing? No, we don't want that. So those are shoot. That's bomb. Shot control. No, we don't want that. Speed bomb. Shot control fire. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, 1941 clone? Kind of, yeah. It's the same style of gameplay. Two for two for games you never heard of? Cool. You know what? I'm glad to share. I, I am literally breaking out staples of my childhood here. Like, I grew up when I was really young watching my older brother play this and Final Fantasy VI. And then once I inherited the Super Nintendo, this is very much a treasured cartridge in my cabinet. What up, Rimward? Yeah, just going down a walk down Nostalgia Lane. Let's crank up response speed. There we go. Now we're screaming through the sky like a maniac. Multiple shot level two. Alright, and this is where the, the one tag comes from. I don't think this is how lasers actually work. And I certainly don't think this is how they work when I go to the alt fire and it's now a homing weapon. I don't think lasers work that way. This is like some Zone of the Enders bullshit. We've got homing lasers! No, you don't! You fucking don't! Lasers don't do that! Lasers go in beam, straight one line, single direction. Also, it is hard to not constantly use the rotating satellites of doom that is the circle weapon. Because it stops bullets, it stops ships, it does crap tons of damage to anything in its path. It's like, yeah, uh, how about fuck everything in a radius around my ship? Right up until something does actually get through, and you only have the one pitiful little satellite, and suddenly you're going, oh no, I'm vulnerable. I'm in danger. And weapon number eight, the scatter shot is fucking awful. We will not be using that today if I can at all help it. Power shot, on the other hand, is uh, pretty gnarly. This is closer to an actual laser in the form of swarp, and suddenly everything in front of me dies. Laser. Yeah, this kind of is like our type, but you know the fun thing is, I've never actually played our type. I have never played our type. Or Gradius, for that matter. Even though I know that those are, like, the cornerstone of this genre of, you know, space shooter. I have... I'm weird about what games I was exposed to as a kid. Uh, haven't played EDF either. Do I want missiles? I do not want missiles. Because they're, like, homing missiles, which is cool sounding right up until you realize that they're regular homing bullets now that can get stopped by anything they hit. They don't have any blow through. Whereas the laser, if you want to keep calling it that, penetrates through stuff. Yeah, I saw that on my Switch that you've got the old throwback console 
emulator, like the official one that you can play if you've got a Nintendo Online account, that EDF was one of the games available. I just haven't loaded it up to give it a try yet. Also, it is very much a risk I'm taking every time I look over at chat. <laughs> like, okay, am I in a safe enough place? Probably not. Laser. Laser. Yeah, like, the only EDF I'm really familiar with is what some of the other guys in the Legion play, which looks more like your boots on ground fighting bugs. Eh, fuck it, we'll use this for a little while. It shoots the direction you're moving, which in some levels is actually really helpful. There are some levels where you spend a lot of time going backwards and sideways, despite this being a camera go up every, you know, moment of game kind of experience. of the mutant space bats of doom. Okay, I've never heard of that. It sounds gnarly. Now, you know what game I do really enjoy that was also a uh, NES title of my, my youth? Fucking Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Zombies Ate My Neighbors was a good time. Never beat it, because that shit is, you know, good old Nintendo hard difficulty. Title alone agreed. Yeah, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I managed to make it like halfway through. You get to the Graboid level, and then I kept getting stonewalled. Then, of course, they released it on the Switch. Tried it again. <laughs> I can't even get that far because it's been so long. It's like, oh, I used to be okay at this. Now I am not. It's like if I were to boot up Castlevania for you guys, like the OG Castlevania, I would uh, probably not be able to do the no continuous run that I've done before. Just because I'm not nearly as proficient at the game as I used to be. Your shields don't stop this, fuckhead! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oh well. Explosions. Everything dies. Please stop throwing cruise missiles at me. I don't like them. Fences. You know what? I don't actually want the homing laser right now because this is kind of doing it for me. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. Nope, there we go.
And everything explodes again. Eh, Mist fine, fuck it, we'll use missiles. Mist Look at this. They're homing missiles, which sounds great on paper, but they're just not powerful enough. They're great for in intercepting the small fry, I suppose. Ow. Oh, now we're going backwards. That's a problem. I don't want it. There we go. Get fucked. It used to be that by music alone I could tell exactly where on one of these levels I was. Again, just going back to the recurring theme of the day, which is soundtracks I just cannot get out of my head. So I see you chilling out in the audience, Diggs. You want to hang out? Because this is literally just me bullshitting around with nostalgia here. Company is welcome. Ah, fuck! He says, right as he flies into something very anky. Ooh, yes. No, 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 no. I would not dare interrupt Burger. Burger, good. Burger, important. Yes, that th every one of these games, I swear, after a certain point, has that one bit where if you don't have a rear-facing gun, God help you. And it is always that moment when you first encounter it's like, oh, oh shit, I was not prepared for this. Give me a break, will you? Mood. C give me a break, will you? Yeah. I love that the bosses either talk to you or prompt your pilot to make comments. And goodbye. You know, now that you mention it, I could go for a burger. Fuck, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, I don't have enough context to know what Battle Brothers is. So, a little context forward, and then I would love to give you feedback. Bearing in mind also that, you know, I'm playing something that requires a lot of attention. Like, what is Battle Bros? Is it anything like Bro Force? Mercenaries Company. Ah. Then tell you what, give me something, uh, give me something two-handed and let me just be a fucking maniac. Laser. 
Low fantasy tactical merc work. Nice. Okay. So on that subject, you want to know where I actually got the name Aiden from when I was cooking up the moniker that I would become my online identity? Because it was something very similar to what you're describing, Rimward. I'm glad you're enjoying this, Blizzard. I really am. Again, the 16-bit era led it, lent itself to some really good soundtracks. There are... Ah, fuck! I mean, I think in no small part it's tied to the limitations of the hardware, because you had to make your music, you know, memorable and... Oh, shit. Didn't mean to drop that. But you had to make your music memorable if you wanted it to endure. They're cool. Not least of which because you couldn't make it overly fancy or complicated. You just didn't have the hardware capabilities to do it. It's part of why, for example, Nobu Yamats from the uh, Final Fantasy series is such an impressive uh, composer, is he made tunes that, if you listen to them arranged to a full orchestra, are still really goddamn good. Like, going and seeing Distant Worlds is a very fond memory of the couple of times I've had the chance to see them. But a lot of the real bangers are from 8-bit, 16-bit titles. Yeah, he made an opera on a 16-bit system. It sounds like people gargling out the song, but it's still an opera. And if you actually read out the lyrics to the tune for that sequence, they line up. Oh, Maria. Oh, God. Fuck. There. Also, in what weird universe do we have, like, small moons that suddenly become big moons that become small moons again? It's like, moon inflation. Which, don't Google that, you'll probably find something horrifying. Safe searches, safe searches your friend, kids. I just heard something from my roommate that I wasn't sure I wanted to hear, but I'm also not surprised by. It is, in fact, a search that has been made. Do not do it, kids. We do not need moon inflation here. Which is why it's a fucking problem in this game. Alright, you want to know why Scattershot sucks? It's because it's just a single straight weapon, and all it does is it throws shrapnel behind it whenever it lands. Really lame. Let's go back to the homing lasers. Homing laser's good. At least multiple shot, you've got, like, wide area coverage. But, yeah, scatter shot. Shitty weapon. Never use again, if at all possible. Laser. Oh, yeah. E1M1 especially comes to mind because it is stupidly simple. Like, a bajillion and one guitar YouTubers have covered it. Even people who don't know Doom probably have at least heard it once. And so... I'm gonna actually add an addendum to my whole argument that part of the reason why they were so good and memorable even is the technical limitations. I'm gonna comment on uh, John Williams, in fact. Pick a 
movie that has a John Williams soundtrack or a series, you can probably hum the tune. Like, immediately comes to mind. Like, think Star Wars, and you can go, uh, bum, 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 bum. Hey, look, dickhead, I'm trying to make music talk here. Your armor is not helping. Fuck off. Thank you. Uh, or Indiana Jones with the ba ba da ba 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 da And if you look at it musically speaking, and I'm talking from a layman's perspective here, I did not go and study music theory or any of that shit, so, you know, bear with me. And anybody who's like a professional, educated musician, if you want to correct me on this, be my guest, because I'm always interested to learn this kind of shit. But the thing about John Williams' music that a lot of the 8 and 16-bit era tunes have is that you have a very clear, a very clear uh, melody that is easily distinguishable and does not, it, it's not overly flowery, it's very simple. But because it's simple, it becomes an earworm. You can latch onto it with your brain meat and you can hum it. Whereas, for example, if I were to compare, say, Castlevania, the original, you've got the very classic, you know, Bloody Tears. You know, every, everybody who's a Castlevania fan can hum that song. Everybody knows the main riff to it, you know. If I were then to turn around and pull up uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, for example, which has a pretty baller soundtrack, do not get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that its soundtrack isn't good. Oscar Arwajo, or Ar I don't even, I'm not going to butcher his name again, I know I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, Spanish composer, if I'm not mistaken, did a really good job of making a soundtrack that really hit the gothic medieval vampire hunting tones of the game that was being made. But I couldn't hum it to you if I wanted to. Because there's a lot of flowery, you know, musical prose in there, but there's no, like, strong single line tune. So while it's fun to listen to and enjoyable as background music, at no point can is it really something that you can listen to on its own and remember it. You get what I'm saying? So the fact that that kind of simplicity and the requirement of a single strong melody was kind of enforced by the hardware limitations, I think, is a massive contributor to why so many of these songs stick with people and they're so memorable. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. Uh, I'll be here for at least a little while. I'll be here all week. Very cool. <laughs> I just clocked. <laughs> I've played Bloodboard. I don't want to make that search. Yeah. Oh shit, didn't want that. Oh well. I'll tell you what, we'll get this instead. Also, I just want to note, we're doing some like ace combat level bullshit here, like flying through a mine in some kind of souped up sci-fi space fighter. Ah, fuck! Fuck it, everything dies! Kill them all! Power shot. Fuck. I keep flying into things that I really shouldn't fly into. Please explode, all of you. Oh, shit! Fuck it. More bombs. I must stop the greater Belkins. I, I must stop the moon Belkins. Even worse.
those Belkins came from the moon. You know, I really need to go back and finish that one. I've finished four, I've finished six. God damn it! I've finished four, I've finished six, uh, I've finished seven. Fuck! I just have not finished five or zero, despite wanting to. Man, like, the, as far as I can tell, the Ace Combat tradition is, oh look, here's the Death Star run. You're gonna do it. Multiple times in one game, in fact. Because, fuck you, that's why. This is how we make you feel like a badass pilot. Is give you, like, a bajillion, you know, more missiles than God, and then tell you to kill the Death Star. And I'm not complaining. There's a reason Rogue Squadron 2 was such a fun game, and part of that's because, fuck you, I get to kill the Death Star. Both of them. Nothing but good things about both 5 and 0. Fuck! 5 and 0. And I've played a not small chunk of 5, but, you know, still early to early mid-game, so I can't say I'm too, too far in the story. But I just never actually got around to finishing him. And that's largely because I am a spazoid who, like, ADHDs out on video games and never finishes anything. Matter compression, lizard. That's your explanation in universe. Matter compression. Down with you. No, down with you. I know the whole thing is miners don't die, but sorry, sir, you are an alien and therefore fuck you. You are not part of Cargonia. Fucked, weirdo. Do not obey him, he's a ling. There we go. Alright, level up point rush level number two. So that's a nice thing that this game does, is it gives you a reprieve. Every third level is one of these, where, like, all of the environment is destructible, and you just get buku fuckload of points. Which really helps you kind of recoup some damage you've taken and get some one-ups going. Though also, if you're firing nothing but normal bullets, you're kind of screwed, because all of the terrain is destructible, which means it stops all of your bullets. But if you've got the circle weapon, then you basically just kind of lull your way through and go, ha ha ha, points for me. I just heard the sound of getting a one-up. You know, as simple as this piano chord is, or not chord, but this piano riff is, again, I'm really jamming to it. Also, we have an enemy ship that shoots depth charges in space! Mm -hmm. 
All right, if I'm not mistaken, next level is, I think, the asteroid field? Question marks? It's been a while. Yeah, the RoboCop or Terminator themes were very good examples of just, you know, this shit is simple and thus everybody remembers it. Because, I mean, go somewhere and then just do the dun-dun-dun-dun-dun and see how many people respond in turn, uh, in tune, you know, with their own dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Fuck! No, my circles! They're missing! They're small! I don't want small circles! I want big ones! Multiple big circles! All of the big circles! This is not a euphemism, do not judge me. Goddamn aliens have weaponized the asteroid belt. How dare they? The background on this map makes it very easy to get, like, full-blown, oh god, my eyeballs, the kind of disorientation. Holy shit. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Also, I have to give it the game credit for another part of its sound design. The explosion sound effects are really nice canned explosions. It is genuinely enjoyable listening to shit explode here. We're slowing down. We have entered the enemy air defense grid. Oh, shit. I did not want to pick that up. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Because this weapon blows ass. Well, okay, I take it back. I think I might have just found a use case for this thing, because it's actually punching through their defenses with reasonable speed. Okay, so what we have here is a uh, fixed fortification destroyer. You know what? I can live with that. It's still not as good as these, though. Now I have the circles. Asteroid field needs mega paid. Space ships are kind of like submarines. Yeah, no, no, you're not wrong. I mean, there are at least a, to a certain degree, similar considerations. <laughs> Once you are outside the hull, everything out there wants to kill you. Just, you know, the pressure is on the opposite end of the murder spectrum. Instead of too much, it's too little. Yep, I am here to jerk my circles all over this asteroid base. And no matter how many missiles they throw at me... Okay, I don't want to say that, because the moment I say that, I'm going to fly into a missile. I know my luck, and I know that Murphy is listening. His law is omnipotent. Yep, there it is. Fuck it. Bombs away! 
There we go. Now we got our circles back. Yay, circles. Fuck. I was using those. I was really using those. There delay it's not that the chat delay is massive it's that my ability to look at chat is um inhibited because bullets and bad things and missiles and other assorted you know inherently bad for my continued existence bullshit flying my way at all times ah! no 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 There we go. Nope, I do not want spread shot. I do not want spread shot. I need my little shield in front of me because it helps me not be die. Yeah, shmups are definitely not chat friendly. In hindsight, there probably were more chat-friendly things I could have chosen to do with my time. But, comma, this is what I felt like playing, so... Meh. Meh. Oh, shit! No, no, no! No, no, no! There we go. Problem solved. Okay, uh, why am I not collecting the numbers? Because each number is a different weapon, and not all weapons are great. Uh, Ralphie, I have never heard of Star Gunner. Sounds fun. Oh god, this level. One of my favorite backing tracks to this game. Also the level where all my favorite weapons are suddenly a detriment rather than a positive for my ability to do things. Also, yes, I am paused. Getting more caffeination. Shmups are not chat-friendly. Shmups are also not hail hydrate-friendly. Oh. oh, that was my sternum popping. Oh, that felt good. Ooh. All right, let's go. Welcome to Shrapnel, the level. So yeah, with how wide an arc the circles have, they will be peeling shrapnel off of the hull of these, you know, derelicts super fast and regularly, and I am not... Uh, I am not ready to have shrapnel appearing inside the arc of my, you know, defenses. Oh shit. Fuck. This is one of those rare occasions where you want minimal, you know, area denial weapons. Also, thank you, Ralphie. I will take a look at it when I am not, you know, in flight.
only level where I desperately do not want the circles. The laser isn't great either because it gets super confused by all the shrapnel. Uh, multiple shots actually not bad. I didn't mean to do that. There's been a lot of that this stream of, oh hey, let's accidentally bomb everything. Bombs away. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh, no, 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 oh, God. Almost got myself squished against the edge of the screen. Jesus Christ, shrapnel. That was a mistake. fight series? Oh man, I remember playing that a couple times as a kid. I never owned it, but I do remember them. God damn it. I keep hitting the bomb button wow. thinking it's the swap weapon type button. Uh oh. Boss fight. Polyhedrus, no! I know you forsook me in XCOM, but why must you forsake me here? The many-sided one is angry! Ow! Uh-oh. I'm just hoping that the energy field in front of my ship is going to protect me. Looks like it did. Hello, Slog. How you doing, man? The Dysoids. Yes, the icon of Polyhedrus, he of his many sides. Fickle is his way. Ow, ow, ow. This is what I was talking about earlier. If you don't have, like, the circle weapon, then these levels are a problem. Power shot is almost as good, in a way. Oh, yes, yes, there. give, give. There we go, now we're in action. Now we're in business. I am not, I, I know the name TTV, I am not super familiar with the channel, but that is actually really nice to hear, and I will pass that on. Alright, love, the uh, Furbin mech has started reaching broader appeal beyond just the Legion. Uh, TTB, a German who streams MWO, has become aware of it and is a fan.
Zerk. She says she's glad to have unleashed this horror on the world. It's all chat's fault. She's blaming you guys. I feel like that is not 100% accurate. It's like maybe 80% accurate. It takes is like her legit worst piece, but still so good. <laughs> I mean, it is like one of those things where you look at it and go, why? Why? Look at this thing and tell me that there is a god. Where can you find the bourbon mech? Uh, give me a minute to, again, not be... Let me... Love, would you mind going and dropping the link in chat? Because I am a little preoccupied. Okay. Lady Red is on her way and will provide the information on where you can find it. Also, if you are familiar with the new Merrick Workshop, who uh, stream Thursdays on WBPL76, Parallax has actually made the Furban Mech an STL that can be 3D printed. Which means not only is this monstrosity, this abomination against Kerensky, a uh, art piece, but you can actually make one and put it on the table. It's horrifying. It is objectively horrifying. Which of course means, naturally, I've got a buddy of mine who owns a resin printer making one. Because, you know, why not? Uh oh. What's the point in making, you know, affronts against God and nature if you're not going to, you know, bask in them? <laughs> That's cursed in so many ways. It really is. But, in Lady Red's defense, she is right in the sense that it was voted on by chat that that was what was going to be made for that week's, you know, stream art gold. So, it was something that y'all were complicit in, complicit in. Ah, fuck me. I'm just running into all of the bullets. Love, you haven't just drawn wide Tom, you drew the whitest Tom. Ow, shit. I need all of the bad mans to please kindly explode and- Damn it! Well, that was not the optimal outcome. I did say I wanted explosions, but I also did specify I wanted the bad man to explode. They did not. Instead, they pushed the responsibility for exploding off on me, and I was not really uh, ready to consent to that portion of this relationship. Oh well, I got a one-up out of it, so... At least, you know, that happened. Laser.
boy. Diggs is right. We recently lost the uh, wide Tommy mode. How does one explode and damn it? I mean, trade secret. Don't worry about it. You got to just get real proficient at exploding. And then you can start moving on to the advanced maneuvers like exploding and... Uh. Jesus Christ. There we go. Fuck you, go back to level one, dickhead. Pixels so much, Tom. <laughs> ah, fuck. It's the super go fast level. Oh, God. It's the, no, I don't want to get squished against the bottom of the screen level. Ah! Shit. Oh, no. Circle. Puppy matchmaking, which is work all its own. Oh shit, I need to stop losing track of where my boat is. My space boat is needed to be not get squish. Squish bad. Fuck, I didn't want that. Oh, well, we have it now. We're going to use it. We're not picking up Scattershot, though. This is... No! Fuck! There we go. Multiple Space boat coast to coast. Yeah. We <laughs> shared bourbon mech with some friends. Oh, please share. Share the horror and revulsion. I thrive on the revulsion. Multiple shot. Ah, yes, now the final level, where things get a little, um, gripply. It's organic. Blazer. I don't really like that. Would you please die? Okay. Oh, hey, it's this dickhead. Now you don't have rocks to throw at me. Dirt. It's a miner who got decided he wanted to leave the mines. Yoshi, that is the end goal here, is for Saris, our lovely little girl, to have puppies. Because admittedly, she has been desperately acting like she wants them for the past week. Nesting and nursing her toys. Power shot. So, it's gonna be very much a thing that we are aspiring towards. 
as Lady Red just said, if all goes according to plan, there will be babies by Christmas. Possibly by Halloween, according to her, which, you know, that tracks with the timeline I'm aiming for, so... I say I'm aiming for it. Realistically speaking, she's the one who knows what she's doing. Fuck off, D20! And yeah, it will be a significant increase to the kibble budget, because my understanding of, uh, beagles is we're looking at between three to eight pups per litter. So even if we only have the one litter, that's going to multiply the number of dogs we have from the, the two parents to, like, ten at, you know, largest capacity. That's a lot of kibble. I'll leave Lady Red to answer that question, because I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. I'm pretty sure American. Hell yeah, last boss music. Freaky alien skull monsters. Smells like the 90s, all right. See, I knew about the Elizabethan beagles and that they were an extinct breed. I just didn't know the difference between the modern English and American beagles. Oh, what kind, lizard? Yeah, no, that looks pretty cool. Next person is up, love, in something like another, I think, three hours? Uh, that's what I'm leaning towards. Alright, so we have burned through the two games I initially had lined up. I'm trying to pick out what it is we're going to follow up with.
in the meantime, music. Dad is a Chihuahua Yorkie, Lakeland Petterdale. Oh, See, I'm not one of those guys. I do not like uh, the idea of just going straight for pure breeding or pedigree or what have you. Dogs are lovely. I really don't give a flying fornication if it's a mutt that I'm looking at. Is it the bestest boy? If answer is yes, he's good dog. Correct. Uh, it's like there was the veterinarian clinic. There was a veterinarian's office on the way back from the local game store I used to play Battletech at that had a sign out front that kind of stuck with me. And what they had on that sign was everyone, everybody thinks their dog is the best dog and they're all correct. have it Yoshi otherwise I would consider it that is a very big cat samurai that is a very big cat oh bully snake that sounds amazing that sounds like an adorable mix-up I have to admit I do have a soft spot for bassets just because they're so comedically droopy and floopy, and it's adorable. Let's see here. The bassets look very funny when they run. Wow, I just looked at the schedule, and yeah, there is nothing going on until a good seven hours from now. All right, so we've got some time to play with. We got some time to play with. So, tell you what, guys, in that mindset, we're going to throw on another word from our sponsors, uh, and what I'm going to do, take a bio break, and figure out the dinner thing because it looks like it's going to be ordering pizza and then uh we will oh no 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 we're not doing chrono trigger anything that's going to take more than one stream like any rpgs we're not going to do because i've already got xcom as my recurring thing but uh yeah scuffed puppy pick in the pets channel all right, let's, let's go take a gander at the Pets channel. I'm assuming you mean in the Ox? Actually, I should probably clarify. Do you mean in the Ox? Uh, Diggs, if Cass goes live in an hour, then it's not showing up on the which schedule um, let me go take another look just to be sure but I was literally just looking at it but yeah it looks like the cast stream has been Google Calendar shows cast alright if that's the case, then we'll probably just wrap things up. I was going off of the uh, 
Twitch channel calendar. We'll probably wrap up with just something fun and simple. They are precious. All right. Uh, let's see here. That's the mum and the dead. Interesting. The pups look a lot more short-coated than the parents do. Okay, well then, with recent information about what we've got going on cancel bio break cancel pause for dinner oriented stuff and we're just going to do something dumb lots of free serotonin for the brain meats hell yeah hell yeah Since we were talking about it earlier. Let's give this a go. Diggs, you're saying we've got, what, an hour? Hour works for me. That's plenty of time to do some zombie slaying. I have no idea what the controls are for this. You know, you say something, you say fluffy bear, I will admit, bears can look darn fluffy and cute as well. Oh, god damn it. Why am I rescuing the burglars? Why not? We're gonna save the people from the zombies, regardless of who they are. Way. Nope. Ow! Fuck you, zombie! Nobody loves you. No! God damn it. Yeah, why, why do bears have fluffy, adorable ears if they weren't supposed to be pet? not mean to swap weapons right then. That zombie should have been dead. Oh well. Poor baby. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that either. God, what am I doing? I don't know. Oh, hey, bazookas. Everybody loves bazookas. I got them all this time. <laughs> Level three. Terror in aisle five. Oh boy. Oh shit, come on. There we go. Controller hiccups. That's a baby by where the little Chucky doll things are going to start pouring out. That's bad. <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh, God. Especially if you get a teammate to play and you're just doing cooperative, because then it's two of you running around shooting the zombies and the Satan dolls and like, oh god, the chainsaw hedge maze mayhem. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, fuck! mask-wearing maniacs. Like, that raises questions. Oh, God, and there's a lot of them! Fuck me! Come on, please do something helpful. 
Okay, this is mostly helpful. This is mostly helpful, I think. Wow, you're lucky you did not get hurt. Okay, no more dick punching. Time to go. Yeah, the maze does get very easy when you have a chainsaw. Unfortunately, I'm not the one with the chainsaw. Oh, and there goes that person. Whatever, whoever they were. Uh oh. I need to find a way around. God damn this maze! Oh, fuck. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I have a bazooka. I'm gonna use it. Oh, Jesus. Maybe not there, though. How will I get to where I can move? Okay, I can't move that way. Fuck. today for me streaming has been uh, just going with the nostalgia. Oh boy, here they come. Uh-oh. Okay, it better be worth it in here. Bazooka. Bazooka's good. I like bazooka. Alright, time to go. Time to run away. Why not use it against the chainsaw guy? Because I'm not sure I'm a good enough shot to hit the chainsaw guy with the bazooka. The bazooka firebone. Okay, even better. Gert. Weird kids on the block. Oh boy, this is going to be the pod people level. Yes, yes it is. Well, fuck you. I have dishes. Also, Beluga. Ah, damn it. Vegetables. Oh, thank God, a med kit. Ah, God damn it. Tomato. Oh shit. Yes, give me squirt gun ammo. Super soaker ammo food. Med kids. Attack of the 
killer tomatoes? Yeah, pretty much. Also, death by dinnerware. of them. Oh, God damn it. That sounds an awful lot like what a doppelganger would tell a not doppelganger to do right there, Mercury. This sounds very much like what a doppelganger would tell a not doppelganger to do. I'm on to you. More shocking than level 5, level 6, Pyramid of Fear. Why are we in a pyramid? I thought we were, like, fighting for suburbia. Goddamn tourists. Mm -hmm. 
zombies. Oh no, we do not want zombies. Dr. Tongue's Castle of Terror. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Why are there werewolves here? That is not okay. I do not remember there being werewolves. baby in the dungeon. And out we go. I don't I have babies in my I don't have a dungeon. Feet of terror in Titanic Toddler. Speaking of babies, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh God. Stepped on by a baby. Oh, there goes somebody. Ow. Ow. Ah. Yeah, this is like the, uh... Oh, is there a werewolf or a vampire level? Oh, yeah. There definitely are. Uh-oh. I mean, there are levels for just about every kind of horror movie trope you can think of. That looks... Oh, boy. Yeah, there were werewolves in the level just before this one. I mean, there's these, there's the giant ants level, there's Mars Needs Cheerleaders, uh, there's the Graboid level, there's Fishmen... soda at this baby until it goes away. I'm sure there's a vampire level. There has to be. <laughs> no, we're talking 
talk to the lesser fish man as opposed to Angie fish man. That's level 8 out of fucking 40. Save the dog. Oh, crap. The blob. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Just like in the blob, if you freeze them, they die instantly. Or at least, you know. Ah, well, fuck that guy, I guess. Freezing them is how you deal with them. Go, oh, Jesus. God damn it. There's a med kit in there and I need it. Let me in, let me in. this hell. Assembly lines, axe wielding maniac dolls. We've got everything. Oh shit. Fuck it. The power of Christ propels you.
Yes, Digiman, this absolutely is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Yeah, Deleg. I mean, you've seen horror movies before, right? Everybody knows the soldiers aren't fucking useful for shit when it comes time for a horror movie to kick off. Soldiers can't do squat to horror horror movie monsters. Oh, crap. Weed's gone bad. I hope I have enough weed whacker juice. This level is very much just a gear check. Either you have enough weed whacker stuff, or you don't. And if you don't, God help you. They came to Earth for one thing. Mars needs cheerleaders. All right, we are going to save game state because I can do that. Oh God, there they are. Can you fuck off, Mr. Football Man? Sesame. Ah! Oh, damn it, I need the bazooka again. Bazooka! Save me! Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Marshall. 
promotions versus football players. Who would have ever expected? Ha! Fuck you! I got him! Time to get out of here. Function? Honestly, I don't know. I've never fired one in, you know, meat space, so I have no idea if they do or not. Let's see here. Emperor, you're not wrong. Oh, God, the chopping mall. Oh, God, they've got chainsaw guys here. Well, that sounded painful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No, 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 no. Oh, God. They're coming from a booty. I don't want it. I don't want it. Shit. Double shit. No. No. Go for the... Go for Bozo. Go for Bozo the Clown. Thank you. Oh, thank God. I needed that. Shit. Leave, leaving. Seven meals for seven. I don't get that reference. It's a lot of bones. Um, oh god, there are blobs here. I don't like that at all. Damn it. Shit. Nope, nope. Be gone, zombie. out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't remember that level. Dinner on Monster Island. I think this is the Fishmen level. Uh-oh. Oh god, uh oh is right. Shit. Where's the bazooka? I just want to get through here as quickly as possible. Open sesame. Let me in. Let me in. Yes, oh boy, swamp things indeed. 
Oh god, and werewolves. <laughs> oh, from high and right on the screen, suddenly the furry bastards are coming. Ants. Oh god. I think that ant was about to eat that baby. <laughs> Do I have any more med kits? Negative. What? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh god. Why do they have so much health? They had so much health. Okay, we are going to uh, load game position because... Oh, shit. God damn it, let me in the water! No! No! Fuck! Flee! <laughs> Shortcut. pounds of oh my god that is a lot of felt recoil <laughs> sir the furries are coming yeah no kidding uh oh uh oh well i'm screwed We are going back to the previous level again, and uh, this time, hopefully, with less oops. Baby. Get the cheerleader. And we're going to find the furries and then we're going to leave out. Alright, you know what? We're gonna 
expedite this process. There we go. Go away. Okay, so I have to go around. Fine. We'll go around then. Ah, yes, the password. Fuck you! Level 17. Office of the Doomed. Oh, God, spiders. Those aren't corn dog nades. Those are, uh. Oh, what are they called? Popsicles. <laughs> you know what? I don't even remember what the password was. I think that was it. Yes, it was. Okay. We're going to have none of our equipment, so we're screwed. You know, that is a thought. It is not a thought I really needed, but it is a thought. Oh, oh that person died. Oh fuck, spiders. Do not want, do not want, it's fast. Jesus Christ, it's fast. zone with a handle. He's out of line, but he's right. The terror is back in. 
Squidmen of the Deep. Oh shit, it's this level. If I'm not mistaken, there's like a baby on the far end of the level. And it is a race to see if I can get to it before the fishmen do. Motherfucker. Squick men of the deep. Oh no, not the squick men. Level 19. Nightmare on Terror Street. I don't like the fact that there's only one person and that it is getting progressively darker. These are things that do not fill me with joy or any sense of comfort. That's what I'm expecting. Alright, barbecue died. Oh god, werewolves! Twenty minutes. Invasion of the sn Oh fuck, this is it guys. This is the level. This is the level that has stopped me every previous attempt at playing this game. Yes, give the bazooka. Ow. like the snake woods, they are not my friends. The cactus hurts you, really?
die, snakeoid. If I manage to beat this, this will be further than I have ever managed to make it through this game. I have no idea how much health these things have left. I know that I am rapidly running out of health. I'm also rapidly running out of ammo. Is there another one? Oh, my God. 
Dance game. And with that, we have not managed to make it past the snake fights. We need Lady Red with the dual blades. Yeah, this would be a very different experience with that. Either need Burt Gummer or we need dual blades Lady Red. On that note, though, I hope you guys have enjoyed the Waltz Down Nostalgia Lane with me. Because I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this. But for now, it is coming up for Cass's time slot. So I am going to seed my time, give you all a chance to get up, grab, you know, a drink, take a leak, whatever you need to do before the next streamer comes on. Until next time, guys. Y'all take care. Explosives. No, nope, that's the wrong thing. Uh, that was not what I meant to do. Um, oops. There we go. Good night, everybody.